basically, long story short, is yesterday I was building a modified full spectrum camera out of a $35 GoPro clone. I got a 9 volt battery on the side. I got my kill button there. I also got my Olight headlamp that they sent me for review that I was using on it too. So basically, IR light, full spectrum modified lens, 9 volt battery, plug it in here, got the kill button for everything. And uh, when I was building this, uh, long story short, is last night we were talking about going to someone's property uh, that passed away in December. And basically, it's a friend, and we're just going to check out that no one has broke into the garage, was the main thing, check the garage door, and because the garage door was bolted shut, and uh, we don't know if we're going to get in it. It's literally lag bolted shut, can't open, so we just walked, basically, last night, uh, we were just planning to go there, take a quick look at night, and uh, for the hell of it, I was building this for someone at my work the full spectrum camera that do, does ghost hunting. Uh, basically, this one here was just me playing around and uh, just for fun and had no intentions to actually bring it, but after what happened tonight, or last night, we ended up bringing it. So, now what you guys are gonna see is I got about three hours of video that I gotta somehow figure out, editing some stuff off the surveillance here, but we started talking about this person, and uh, what? Well, you lied off of me because I know it's true. <laughs> it's true. It's weird. We started talking about them, and then we started watching a YouTube video, and we we're talking about going to check on this guy's house, make sure uh, the garage wasn't broken into. I mentioned that no one could get into the big door because it was bolted shut. So and you're sort of responsible for the property at the same time. So. Yeah, well, I just gotta make sure no one been in it. And I told Curtis to wait till morning originally, and he said, "Well, we could go. We could check out my camera." At the yeah, because it's a modified night vision camera. So and uh, basically, as we're talking about this, literally a minute or two after me saying that. It would be kind of neat to use this to make some ghost videos because, you know, the car that ACA332 had from, and, you know, if it was a four-door one, Supernatural, the TV show. And you dizzy had a bunch of... And you dizzy uh, 1969, which just sent me this nice, beautiful sticker. And uh, a few other people that we follow does ghost hunting. So we're just talking about going to this person that passed away in December. We're... And none of this technically I wanted to bring up on my YouTube channel because it interferes with a lot of stuff going on right now, but I am going to post this. Uh, but basically, long story short is right as we're talking about this, we didn't realize it, but the garage door across the back lane was opening, stopping, closing, stopping, and opening and closing at random. We didn't know that until I looked up after talking, which I'll try to edit the video proper. You got to look at the timestamp of the video. And all of a sudden, I say, talking about that, why is that garage door open? And so, I thought the neighbor had just left the door or open. Or someone broke in there. So the old man decided to go walk around. Uh, I said, no, just wait. Let's see if someone's going to come out of there because otherwise we'd just scare him away. But no, the old man wanted to go play muscle man and kick the shit out of some little kid. Uh... <laughs> Or some old guy. Or, or some old guy. I thought somebody was breaking into the David's garage. I was going to go grab him by the neck and choke him for a bit. Yeah. But that didn't work out. And there was no one there. Like, we played back the footage. <coughs> Literally, as we are talking about going to this person's house that passed away, uh, I have some of my stuff stored there. That's why I kind of, you know, watched the place. Uh, there's some stuff in the garage, some stuff in the yard that's mine that I was storing there because there's no room here. That's long story short. Uh, I used to work with the person years, like 10 years ago too. Uh, but as we're talking about that, I was building this camera and we were talking about ghosts and stuff like that and talking about the fact that that door was bolted shut. And we also and, talked about her. And him. And him. Because and, they both passed away within the last couple of years. And that door... The garage door, as we're talking, just started opening and closing across the back lane. I still see now, it a sign. A sign, or the old man was saying, did your IR camera interfere with the door? No. 
uh, garage doors haven't been IR controlled. I don't think they ever made them. They're all low frequency FM style frequencies. Yeah. Uh, or 2.4, 5.8, all the newer frequencies. But that is an older garage. But don't forget to tell them the other part too. Is I got a clock in the in the garage here too that literally will all of a sudden start keeping time and it, I'll walk in the garage one day, it'll be right on time. And within an hour, it'll just stop and go to 217. It'll stop at 217. Yeah, so we gotta find out time of death maybe of some one of those people. <laughs> like, yeah, like there's something funny here going on. And then like right now the clock's dead at 217 and eight seconds again. And that's where it always seems and to stop. And it actually started running backwards. Yeah, the, the clock old clock. Actually, the old clock was running backwards, so I threw it in the garbage because I thought there was something wrong with the clock. He bought a new clock, and it's giving him problems again. And in the video footage from the surveillance, the clock was ticking. Yeah. Again. Again, yeah. It was ticking. Yeah. And, and now it's stuck again. Yeah, now it's back at 217.08 again. So it's this one spot on this new Dollarama clock that's stopping it. Or there's something else going on here. Well, it, it can't. I can't see it stopping at two seventeen and eight seconds every time. It could if there's a bad uh, flaw on when no, they cut the gears. No, not eight seconds. I yeah, but when it. they cut the gears, you gotta remember if the main gear on the outer. Okay, but now you explain to me how how it is that I'll go in the house for an hour and I'll come back and the clock will be right on time with the other clocks. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. How could it just speed up? Yeah, it doesn't speed up by itself. We're talking about a mechanical clock that takes a double A battery, yeah. not a digital clock. Yeah, and I thought the battery was dead the first time it stopped, so I put a new battery in it. It didn't make a difference. Yeah. And this is a brand new clock. Like, there's no reason for this. So this is kind of going to be a very tricky video to edit yeah. because at the time it happened, I was holding my cell phone on the surveillance. I also walked outside with this camera here, did a test on it, shined it into the neighbor's yard and like see you would see if anything's out there yeah. and i mean this might and, I, and it, I literally walked outside myself and looked and there's nothing or nobody around and that's why this whole so, video when i go to edit might not seem to make sense that's why we're doing this intro to kind of explain because i can't a lot of the stuff we we're talking about just can't be on video and uh so you guys are going to have to look at the timeline on, on the surveillance video. Now, I just strapped the tripod on here and aimed it at the DVR. I'm not going to pull the footage because it's voiceover and all this. As it is, I got two hours of footage to edit. I don't really have time to do that right now. I was meant to be at my house uh, last night, yeah. but I ended up staying here till 4 in the morning. And now I'm here again, and also I'm meant to be helping ACA332. He wants to pull out the Yamaha Warrior and go for a ride. Uh, that thing hasn't ran for two years. So and also it's Canada Day. Canada Day, the 150th. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll be getting to my house. And of course, uh, I haven't got my paycheck yet because uh, the electronic money transfer system got hacked with ransomware on the 30th. And I got word about it on the 28th that that was going to happen. So that's kind of weird that I heard about that happening and it did. The new strain of ransomware, it's a virus. So I heard about that before it even happened, and I knew I wasn't going to be getting my paycheck. I knew I'd be getting either paid in cash or something. So there's just so much weird stuff that has been going on lately that I knew about before it even happened and stuff. So it's like, okay, well, how am I figuring out this stuff? What the hell is happening? So, yeah. and again, that is a reason why I made something like this, but it's also, again, for a customer at my work that wanted one, but my work decided to say, I can't build them at my work. I have to do all the prototyping, playing around and everything on my own time, which I'm doing it because I always been interested in night vision, full spectrum cameras. You can see videos on my YouTube page from like five years ago when I first started building them. Well, anyway, the main point to the whole video is it's just coincidental or funny or whatever you want to call it that we're talking about ghosts. And I said to Curtis, what if you go there with the camera and you see her? Like, yes. And he sort of freaked out on that. And, and I'm like, okay, yes, I am going to use this when I walk in the yard. Yeah. And I did. And I never even looked at that footage yet. But to be honest, I'm pretty sure once I got up to about the shed in the garage that this thing stopped recording. Well, I like, might Because, no, it's just the way I'm holding it. I might have hit the record button and cut it off when I went into the yard. Oh, okay. So, again, it was dark. I did not have the flashlight on, only the IRs, and I'm looking at this little 1.2 inch screen trying to walk through the yard in the pitch black, so. <laughs> but, okay, 
So I'm going to try to edit this video again. It might not make sense, but look very carefully. And you guys got to understand too, the fact that we we're just talking about this garage being bolted shut where the garage door can and open. And we're talking about the dead people. The, and the dead people, you could say, that passed away. Yeah. And uh, again, I can't get into any more details. Even this video wasn't meant to go up right now. It has a lot to do with a bunch of other stuff happening, but yeah. I guess this is something that I do need to try to figure out and edit. I think it's just all coincidental, personally. It is, yes. But this is a, something I've been dealing with since the beginning of December. And uh, just lately that I've actually been dealing with it a bit more. Well, I guess now what you guys see is going to be what I edit out of the video. So, and this is already 10 minutes long, just the intro. So, yeah, I'm going to leave cool. this. And I also got it meant to do some Olight flashlight reviews. But, yeah. I don't know if that's going to happen now because there's a lot of st other stuff that we got to take care of. Well, you do what you need to do, kiddo. It's your video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to. And you know something else that's weird? I had a little wireless camera uh, that's a Starlight camera that I've been playing around with. And that camera there was, I was playing around getting ready to do a live stream. So I was kind of playing around with it and uh, literally half an hour before all this happened, I walked up to it, put my hand on it, realized it's fucking hot. And uh, I unplugged it because I decided, uh, I even posted that on Facebook that I was thinking of doing a live stream. And I said right at that time that no, nah, the audio quality on the camera was having interference, dad. Yeah, it was. Uh oh. Well, you know what? Maybe Dad. it's a good thing. Can you imagine if we were having a live stream and you would have saw all this? <laughs> yeah, but I stopped that camera and gave up on the live stream because it was like a lot of noise interference on that camera. And you know what the funny thing is? I saved some of that footage because I was recording with this, I think. Well, if you did, you could always add it to the video. Yeah, well, I posted some of that on Facebook, so yeah, that's going to be very strange. Yeah, show them the clock while you got your camera up. 217.08. Yeah. That's where she stops. So why did this clock stop? Oh! It's not stopped no more. <laughs> I jinxed it. I bet you it'll be stopped tomorrow at the same time. Yeah, but watch. In 10 minutes it'll be there right time now again. Yeah, well, if that happens, maybe I should put this on a time lapse so we can see we didn't touch it. Yeah. Okay, well. You're going to come interrupt my video again? Put the camera away. Put the camera away, okay. <laughs> Why don't you just grab the big thing? Because right now it's actually looking at the camera perfectly and it's on my tripod on the table here. Uh, but let's play back to footage and I'll have to edit a lot of this out. I think it was 12.07, right? Yeah, but I'll have to, well, I'll start it right at, uh, midnight because that's when we started talking about stuff. Yeah. But the whole point is, this is very freaky. I'm recording right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to edit out a lot of these details about what happened last night. And we're just actually talking about it now. I'm playing back to footage some more. So let's start at the beginning and I'm just going to let it play like this because it's, you know, like a pirate, so, and they know who I am, so. Okay, so they know who I am. So we're talking about someone knowing who I am, and about what we're thinking of doing, and I'm building, at the same time I'm making this video, I am building... A ghost hunting camera. Yeah, let's, if I can zoom... Ah! Tripod's falling over! I told you, take the other one. I know, I am building this guy right here. A full-spectrum GoPro with IR light. Yeah. Can you guys say freaky? We're talking about building this. And we get attacked at the same time by some spirits. Okay, the old man proved me wrong. He has a tripod that actually works. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm just going to leave the camera like that. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit here. Okay. So, right, it's going to bump every time I use the bolt, so yeah, it should be okay. Hey, I can actually see the screen through here. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it every few seconds, and uh, I'll have to say edit at certain points, and I don't need you telling me that. I'll know what to take out, Dad. Like I said, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry.
And now a whole lot of nothing to edit out. During the long weekend, cops are going to be driving around too. So cops are going to be going around too, hey? <laughs> uh, that part I'm going to leave in because that's kind of saying what we're, you know, worried about. But again, it's nothing illegal. Well, we won't be there very long, hey? No, it wasn't illegal whatsoever. No, because if you would have went during the daytime, you wouldn't have to worry about nothing. Yeah, but then I, I couldn't use the full spectrum camera in the yard. Oh, uh, whatever. And I guess we could say... We're going to go check no, the yard. No, we weren't. We're just going to go check someone's yard that passed away in December. And they passed away in their house. So that's what we're doing is we're going to go check on the yard and make sure nothing was taken, nothing was stolen. Because we're responsible for the yard. Exactly. Explain that to them. Yeah, so someone passed away in December. We're responsible for certain things to do around the property. And we're talking about going in there and just making a quick video. And as we're talking about that... Curtis wanted to try out his new camera. Yeah, and the whole point is, the person I'm talking about always had problems with their garage door. And no, it's not this neighbor right here. I'm shining the bulb so they could tell. <coughs> but they always had their garage door on the house we we're talking about going to has lag bolts bolting the door shut so it cannot be opened because it was broken. And we did, well, explain that the, the man that was living there when he passed away had done that for security reasons. He has done that for security reasons actually before he passed. Yeah. And there is something in that garage that I was always told to go get. And that's not what we're talking about getting. That will have to wait till later. But he passed away. And uh, the fact that this... It's just the fact that that garage door was screwed shut. And no, it's not this neighbor again. It's a neighbor many, 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 many streets away from here. Uh, a good friend of mine that I used to work for. So it's very confusing right now. The fact that we're just talking about that person out of the blue. Nothing happening, but we just decided to bring it up. And not much else we could talk about there. And then this started happening. And again, this part here is going to be at the end of the video from last night. So, and the only reason hey, we, I'm starting to play it again. Come on. Well, I was just saying the only reason that we went to check is because the wife passed away as well. Yes. Now I guess I have to shut this. So I'm going to pause this here. So basically last night I held my phone up to the screen and I did the same thing. Recorded the same way, but it was all shaky. So that's why I'm redoing this today. So he doesn't want his truck seen in the area too long. Because it's at night. It's, and I don't want people thinking that we're stealing stuff. That's we're not. I'll, I know we're not, but I didn't want people thinking we're stealing stuff. I'm paranoid, I guess. <laughs> he's paranoid that I'm going ghost hunting at night. and he's, Well, the thing is, try to explain to a police officer why you're there after dark. Even though we have permission to be there, and we're the ones maintaining the yard and everything else... Explain why you're there after dark, but I know it's because you want to go with your camera and try out your new camera But try and explain that to the police. Exactly. So let's hit play again here Like I said, man, I don't think we have to worry Probably not. I bet you it's going that way by now So basically what we're worried about is the fact that someone hasn't been in the yard in the house since December and we just want to go make sure that nothing is missing in the yard is the long story short. Yeah, and uh, we're worried about some of the stuff that was left in the yard ain't tied down and it's available to anybody who just walks by and grabs yeah, it. Yeah, and I got lots of stuff stored in the property, so. Yeah. And really, if they're wondering what we're doing, I can show them something. Uh, because I'll have a night vision full spectrum, I think. Oh, I should. Well, I guess I can leave that name in there. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like I said, you look if you saw Betty when you walked in with that. You got a ghost camera, and she just passed away. I mean, a couple months ago. And then so. this garage door starts opening in six minutes from the time we said that. How long does it take to call someone? With the, you know what I mean? I don't know. You know, actually, we should have the garage camera in here so we can see us talking and me building it. But yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
Well, I guess I'll zoom ahead. And we get kept on getting interrupted by someone coming in the garage and the camera, the way it's aiming, did walk right in front of it. So let's start this again. Oh, I'm with you. I've been recording it too. And if anyone asks, it's just in case someone flipped on me, it's all on camera. It's all on. Oh, I guess I might edit out one word out of that. Yeah, everything. No, I'm not going to in her yard. Uh, I'm about to go. I maybe I'll get the entire walk through her yard. Walking around, showing everything. So the last time I was there was a month ago and I made a video clip of everything, but that was during the day. Oh. So I'm going to just skip ahead here because some of the next stuff we don't want to put on there. So let's just skip ahead. That's three minutes. Here's six. Six. Oh, I couldn't get one. See that one, babe? See. Did I just say see the elephant? I don't know what he said. I said. He said. Okay, let's hit play again. This is weird. Yeah. Oh, there's an opening. Holy shit, 650. Now what? look, it opened and it stopped. And it went back down, yeah. There, so you can actually hear an opening closer. No, that's something else. Oh, I'm going to pause it here. I'm 95% sure of it that Phil Army is what you're watching at that time. Oh, that could be, yeah. And that's why we weren't paying attention to the cameras. Yeah. I watch the grandeur stop three quarters of the way up and goes down again. And there's nobody in there where I do this. Yeah, I said that would hurt. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. Fail Army, you're right. That was Fail Army, yeah, I paused the video again. That's when the guy got the, that thing in the water ski there. And he got oh, where he got across the water ski and he and gets he it on his balls. Yeah, the balls, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> That's what he said. See, that I was hurt. wondering the screams, what are we watching, yeah. you know? Yeah. Okay, let's hit play Fail again Army, here. Yeah. He said that hit hard. There it goes again, yeah. Up again. Now, if you guys look, you can see there's nobody in this garage. There's nobody there. And no, we do not have a remote control for the neighbor's garage either. No. <laughs> it's freaky, man. So, and I think it stays open, though, for a while. I'm assuming I had here a bit. Well, you wanted that light. You want to show the light, right? Yeah, the light in the backyard. Why did the sound die? Oh, no, that one's playing. Yeah, that's playing. Yeah, why did it get so quiet in here? Because we would have still been talking. Why would the sound have stopped? Uh, maybe because I went full screen on one. I might have to stop it. Let's try that. Stop. Yeah, I just back it up again. Let's go back to the... One hour clock here. Now yeah, let's go. There you go. That's twelve thirty. So we went way too far ahead there. Yeah. Okay, that's right where we would have been. Let's leave it like this. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this now because it's right after this video I catch that the door was open. Okay, so I definitely need to add it out the last 30 seconds. So, okay, now let's hit play here. I'll zoom ahead a bit. You know, it's 12.30 that we remembered, I think. No, it's 12.15. Like, I think I'm already outside here. Or any second there. I'll go back then. I know I only went up two minutes, so. Well, just listen, you'll, you'll, you'll see. I know, I know. Oh, oh there's, there's the, the guy bike. on the bike right there. Look. Yeah, that was That's after, the guy on the that bike. That was after I walked by already. Yeah. yeah. So I, I got it up. Yeah, that two minutes there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Greek, but it looks good. Uh, vision, everything works. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to restart this camera. On the camera? Yeah, okay, so I just erased a bunch of footage off my phone here, so, uh, because there's a lot of mumbo jumbo, the door opening and closing randomly, and then in the next 30 seconds on this clip is when we notice it's open. Twelve thirty two almost. At midday, oh by the way, we wanted to make fake uh ghost hunting videos. <laughs> did I really talk about you did uh, weird stuff, right? And then the uh, in, uh making things that make it make people like uh what's that? And then this uh, happens guy. Thank you, you know what I mean? Way. Like uh, how we were talking to? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, talk about talking. Why is the neighbor's grass door open? Okay, I almost want to leave that in here. I would. Why not? That is fucking awesome. That is hilarious because you're talking about the ghost hunting. And making a fake ghost hunting video. Yeah. And then this fucking happens that's freaking the shit out of us. Yeah. Oh, God. Maybe I'll take that out. I don't know. No, I wouldn't. But we're joking around about Supernatural because of his cars. The cars he has. It's a TV show, Supernatural. They use a four-door car like his yeah. and he was saying about making videos where you uh, drive up to a scene they always pop the trunk and grab guns yeah. but we pop the trunk and we grab beers and the video gets stupider as we go along that's what we were talking about yeah. uh, okay across the back Now watch for the flash behind the van on the right-hand camera. Yeah, because I didn't even notice it open until Curtis said it. Don't bother looking at camera number one. Look at camera yeah. number two. Yeah, the one with Greg. It wasn't there when we were looking for the cat either. It wasn't open. And the light never turned on. That would have made me look. So it's like it was manually open. The light did turn on. <laughs> the full spectrum. I should have went outside with that. Yeah. I might have seen something back there yeah. in that garage. Yeah. Look at the front. You see that? That's a, a mosquito. You know what I mean? like oh, the light. See? Like that. Yeah. That was the light that went on. Did you miss it? No, listen for the beep. Like beside us, where those people are moving out. A flashlight. Yeah, it was like a flashlight. Yeah. Right where the people next to us are moving on, the flashlight is shining. And all of a sudden, the taillights of the van and the horn are on. Oh, it was a flashlight, Dad. It's right around here, that taillight flashes. No, no, it was across right beside us, like right beside the garage. Just on this side, look. Look where I'm aiming at something today. That. He's looking at the monitor, he's not looking at me. He can't see where I'm pointing. Oh, there's another light. That was the tail light to the van. And a honk. And a honk, yeah. Security system, this one. Security system, yeah. Exactly, Dad. Not yet. We don't want to start over them and have them hide. We want to see if we can see if there's someone walking around out there. Yeah. I had a good point, Dad. Wait and see if they're going to come into the lane on video. And right there, there's a flashlight, and then a car honk like an alarm system honk. Okay, no, at that time right there, I'm talking because I got my camera recording. Oh, okay. My cell phone was up in the air and recording. Okay. So maybe what I'll do... Uh, you add that footage in. Yeah, because I could stop right now and put that footage in. Uh, Let's keep it recording. I guess I'll shut this off for now, but I got the, the night vision camera here all ready to go. And I got my gun ready to have. Yeah. My gun. <laughs> right there. Now all I see is your face. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm going to go see what the fuck's going on. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, the old man's not chicken. I'm going to go out there and see what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and I'm going to hide in here in my outpost and watch on the freaking camera system. <laughs> In case somebody shoots me, okay? Exactly. I'm going to go kick somebody's ass. What am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to zoom ahead. You know, you'll see you walking. You go in the backyard first. Yeah. No, they're only for a few seconds. Ah. Freaking intruder. You really need to upgrade that camera. Okay. So I'm going to go play with this interesting... Full spectrum, you could call it, GoPro clone. I'm just gonna quickly put my uh, 9 volt battery lead on it. And uh, I'm actually gonna do a flashlight review and I'm just gonna see how this picks it up. Because, uh, yeah, it works pretty freaking awesome at night right now. So I'll see how that works out. I wanna go walk around. Yeah, well, we just noticed the neighbor's garage door is open, right? And uh, right there. There's a flashlight, and then a car honked like an alarm system honk, and literally we didn't. I didn't notice it till the garage door was open. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. No, I leave it on full screen on the other one in case they're in the other side. If they cut through the fence in the backyard or something. Yeah, they won't see them. Either. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I guess I'll shut this off for now. But I got uh, the night vision camera here all ready to go. And I got my guns ready to happen here. Okay, old fart. Yeah, well, we'll watch old fart. What are you doing? Going out. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm going to go see what the fuck's going on. Yeah, well, you shouldn't. I just noticed I wasn't even recording the whole time. The whole time I was holding my camera here. Neighbor's garage door randomly opened there. Old man's deciding to go for a walk for the fun of it. And, uh, I don't know. Garage door, like we look, it's open. Never seen the light turn on. And the old man couldn't wait for me. Like literally, I told him to wait a second and I'd go with him uh, with the night vision camera. Yeah, but <laughs> uh, whatever. It, it, they would have been long gone anyway, so that's why I'm not rushing to get out there. But we just heard a car horn toot. So he's going into their yard for some reason. Yeah, well, maybe I'll slap a battery in my uh, night vision camera and go take a look. Nothing you see? No, yeah, I kind of figured there was one gone. No, I couldn't hear it first. I wasn't just in the back. Yeah. yeah. See, look, I got my kill switch. See? Yeah. Don't move anything. Just see how it lights up here. Oh, you know it's going to light up perfectly. No, I'm just playing with the but it's fine. Oh, it's going to light up perfectly. Look. Oh, nice. And then when I hit this, it's going to kill it. See? Look. No IR? IR. Look how big a difference. Yeah. The only thing I see with her lights on is she's not, not normally not on either. No, hers has been on lately. And then that big cat that was at the back there. Yeah, well. Went down the lane. But the only garage door being open, I got no idea. I'm just wondering if I should actually close it. No, I wouldn't get involved with that. Yeah. Hey. And look at it, just lights up the entire backyard, hey? Are you separate person? Or yeah. yeah. Oh, look, it's actually lighting up the entire backyard, hey? Yeah. Well, you can see there's nobody hiding around here anymore. Anyway. Mm. Well, that's why I was thinking that. That's why I said there was a light there a few seconds ago, so maybe he was just going into his house. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he was in the in there, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's someone from her yard that's trying to light oh, towards them. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'll shut this off for now. <laughs> but yeah, we were just sitting here and uh, playing with my night vision camera, and best time to do it because the old lady's uh, garage there. It's randomly turned on or open. So, hmm. it's kind of interesting. Like when I say randomly open, I mean it was closed the door and then all of a sudden it's open. And I didn't see anyone around there, so that's kind of weird. And then I seen a flashlight over there, and then a car horn go toot. <laughs> well, I'm just killing my battery on this. We're going to go do a flashlight review in a few seconds. I'm just finishing uh, modding this GoPro clone which has horrible audio to uh, full spectrum with some IR lights on her. Which you guys have seen kind of a test out there, on and off with the IR blaster. I would... What the hell? Well, now the garage door's shut. The old man just went for a walk. We played back the footage. Uh, and 
basically it looks like the garage door opened by itself and then a few seconds be after it opened or like five minutes after we opened a guy in a backpack actually biked down the back lane but i'm not going to bother playing back the footage uh but i did see a flashlight that shined but who knows why or where but yeah interesting and yeah i guess now we'll go play with this sucker here my little push button kill switch to kill the ir Because sometimes you don't want the IR light. And if you want it quickly, boom. Or it could have been pushed to turn it on too. But no, I want it. It actually will turn on by itself. Because it has a night sensor. Or a light sensor, I should call it. But now I just got to decide where I want to mount the battery. I was going to zip tie it right in between there. I don't see anybody around though. No. It's your IR light that's doing it. No, it has nothing to do with me. It has to. It opened again at 1224. He literally, it was open and closing non-stop. I'm pretty sure that garage doesn't work on IRs, Dad, because if that was the case, uh, most of them wouldn't be. It'd be an FM uh, low free, like 200 megahertz system. Yeah, but there's nobody there. I mean, that why is that door open? She's Unless she's got the remote control in her pocket and she's turning it into sleep. Yeah, that could I be. I bet you that's what it is. Yeah, but still, the guy that drove by on the bike with the backpack. That was just coincidence. I that he came down the back lane. But I mean. Because hmm. he drove by fast. It's not like he even looked at the garage. Yeah. Well, maybe because he scared the poop out of him and he was hiding in the bushes. Could be, but why is the door open again now? I don't know. It could be just a guy driving down the back lane, Dad, with the IR uh, thing trying to open garage doors. That could be, yeah. Uh, I'm oh. going to shut this off because I'm going to guess she's just rolling in her sleep. It's closed now. You might as well exit this. No, thing. you know what I just noticed? What? On the hedge there, I should back it up. On the hedge at the corner, it flashed again. I bet you that neighbor's light came on again. I wonder if that neighbor's light is interfering with her garage. No. Because that's, that's one of those new uh, LED lights she just no. put up. It's nothing to do with that. Well, exit the camera now or zoom ahead a bit. See when it shuts. Okay, I'll go and zoom. We'll go... 16 times. Oh, there. The light went off. Yeah, I'll go eight. 16 times. No, I'll just go 8 times. Because uh, 16 may be too bad. There's 6 times. Well, we're doing the video playback, and we've seen something run by. And this is kind of freaky, because I'm building a full-spectrum ghost hunting camera, you could say. And the garage door across the street is going crazy. Man, that's just, like, very crazy. Hey, Dad? Well, I think at two times I'll still see it for Yeah, you would. Well, there she is. <laughs> yeah. It's a little redneck temporary. It's only a prototype. I just got the battery taped on it. Of course, it's nothing fancy. Uh, the only way to show how to work it would be with this hand here. So pretty much one finger operation. You got that light that you can turn on and off. And then if you want to kill the IR light, you hit this. So that kills the IR light. And uh, technically, you could do it like this. Got this with that. And you got that. Arc. I can't really do it looking through my camera. So. So it works actually pretty damn good. Well, I'm just going to upload some test footage from it real quick. Oop, wrong button. Shut it off. Got to save some battery power. It's only a $35 GoPro clone. My actual... GoPro handle and about a hundred dollar Olight on it just zip tied there temporary but I didn't want a normal flashlight I wanted a head mounted one so kind of makes it nice for carrying it and of course you can adjust it side to side because it's in rubber pull it out in a second so it's actually pretty sweet and notice he's using his Duracell battery that he stole from me again what do you mean that Duracell has Chinese writing on it somewhere that's the Duracell. You keep stealing my battery. You owe me. Yeah, it's only five bucks. <laughs> I'm bored. I want to go hunt some ghosts. Come on, man. Ghost hunting. It's a big popular thing nowadays. Okay, so I'm going to go test out this freaky machine. Only way to really show you guys what it looks like without trying to edit the video. I got the white light and then I got the IR light. Yeah, she's a Frankenstein machine. One button here. Turns on a white light when I'm outside, it's going to turn on the IR light automatically. So let's go outside and give her a try. I'll close this garage door, all the lights are off here. See, the IR lights are already on. 
Now the white light's on and it switches. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Turn that off and the IR light automatically turns on. And that automatically shuts off the IRs when I turn on the flashlight with my finger. And I can also hold the dead man button and kill everything. Turn that back on. White light. IR light. And nothing. IR light. White light. Oh, actually, I actually had both there for a few seconds. So, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> full spectrum. And that's still technically full spectrum. <laughs> and nothing. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> and everything's off. That is freaking awesome now. Wait till I upload this video. Like, I can see all those cars reflecting back way down there. Yeah. It's freaking awesome. Well, the old man just went inside off camera. He's like, holy fuck, man. This is the weirdest thing that ever happened to him. So, and yeah. Oh, better not be recording him when he comes back. Okay, so if I edit this video proper here. Yes, I'm looking at my hoagie. If I edit this video proper... It's going to be freaking sweet, but the amount of time I got to spend to do it, I don't know if I will.